Hey guys, Key Michael here. It's so nice to meet you all and thank you so much to E for inviting me on as a guest tip giver. <laughs> I have been a professional volleyball player for the past 10 years. I was also in the London 2012 Olympics and I'm here to give you guys a few tips on what you should be looking for when you're filming volleyball or in this case, beach volleyball. Hey guys, I'm Ich, and here's the thing. Based on the feedback I've gotten from you guys through my Instagram account and also my Facebook group, a lot of you want me to make tutorials about how to make a video specifically for one sport. Like how to make soccer videos, or how to make rugby videos, or how to make tennis videos, or how to make baseball videos, how to make hockey videos, how to make football videos. <sighs> I heard you and I'll get through them all, but first thing first today, we're gonna learn how to do a proper volleyball video, or more specifically a beach volleyball video, because I live in Australia, we've got beaches, and the ocean makes a much better backdrop than the beige walls of a local gym. So, why not? But for the record, I have done similar videos about other sports already. I did a basketball video teaching you how to put a hype reel together, and also an MMA video showing you how to properly film any combat sport. I'll put the links to both videos in the description down below, but before you click on them, let's get through this one first. Alright, so here are a few things to look for when filming beach volleyball. Since the big tournaments are usually on a beautiful beach, you have to make the most of that gorgeous backdrop. That means not only should you be filming great wide shots with the ocean in the background, but also take the time to go film some b-roll when you have time. Get some shots of waves breaking, seagulls flying, surfers, boats, typical stuff that you can then use as cutaways later on in your edit. Especially if you're covering a whole tournament, these b-roll shots make great transitions in between games. Another thing that's almost exclusive to beach volleyball tournaments is the party vibe. Sun, sand and music, everything's in place for the fans to have a good time. So make sure you capture that great atmosphere and again, use it as b-roll and cutaways in your edit. Alright, so now that we've covered everything around the game, it's time to talk about the actual game itself and how to shoot it properly. And lucky for you guys, I reached out to Key Michael, a professional volleyball player who also happens to be a really creative and extremely talented sports videographer who has her own YouTube channel dedicated to volleyball. So Key is going to give you guys a great insight into the game and what to look for as a videographer and I'll be back after with more technical stuff. Hey guys, Key Michael here. It's so nice to meet you all. I'm sure you guys are getting so much value from E's videos if you're like me, who is a newbie to sports videography and YouTube. Because actually, I'm just an athlete and I'm trying to figure out how to get all the knowledge I have in here about my sport out there into the universe. And the best way to do that seems like video. And so channels like E's are really, really helping people like me and people like you too, I'm sure. But luckily for you guys who clicked on this video, all of that sporting knowledge I just talked about, for me, it's volleyball. I have been a professional volleyball player for the past 10 years. I was also in the London 2012 Olympics and I'm here to give you guys a few tips on what you should be looking for when you're filming volleyball or in this case, beach volleyball. The first thing I would say is just know the rules of the game. That's gonna help you know what emotions to capture, when teams are going to change sides of the net and when interactions with the ref are going to be kind of important. For example, something to be aware of in beach volleyball is that the teams are going to change sides of the net at every combined score interval of sevens. So for example, at 5-2 or at 9-5, the teams are going to change sides. I know, I'm sorry, it's kind of complicated. I'm sorry to make you do math, but I didn't make the rules of the game. <laughs> the next thing I would say is to know the players. There are only two on each side, number one and number two. So you shouldn't have too much trouble keeping them straight. And usually one will spend more time at the net and the other in the backcourt. There's no rule against them switching positions, but generally each player is suited to one position more than the other. 
It's also a good idea to keep a rough idea of who you've already filmed doing what. So there's four players on court and you want to make sure you get a good variety of shots of each player doing each skill. Each of the five main skills being blocking, attacking, setting, serving and defense. That way you'll have a good selection to choose from when you're editing. The last thing to look out for is interaction between the players. This is the fun stuff. For example, some good shots to get might be the hand signals of the player at the net during serve. That's going to be signaling her blocking pattern to the player behind her. Or high fives and hugs between the players between points because that really shows off the personality of each team or the big celebrations, or the frustrated sand kicks, or you know those focused looks through the net during serve. These are all the details that remind your viewer that they're watching humans playing a sport and not just robots in jerseys. So those are my tips, player to player, filmmaker to filmmaker. I really hope you find them useful and that you implement them next time you are filming beach volleyball. Thanks again to E for the invite. And if you want to come and geek out on volleyball with me, you can find me. My channel is just Key Michael. Good luck with your filmmaking and I'll see you on the internet. Yes, make sure you go check out our channel, especially if you're into volleyball, which if you're still watching this video, I assume you are, because let me put it this way. Key Michael is the James Franco of volleyball. She does it all. As for me, my talents are very limited to sports videography, so let's just keep talking about that. In beach volleyball, you can usually get quite close to the court, so make sure you use that to your advantage by filming the court from all different angles. Also, get creative by filming high, low, tight and wide shots. When a player is jumping, a shot from a low angle can make him look super epic. So definitely get a few of those shots. You also want to get some clean shots of the player's hand making contact with the ball. And that's on offense, but also on defense. The action at the net is obviously great, but make sure you vary your shots by filming defense at the back and serves from the back line. And also, if you have access to a camera that can record in 120 frames per second, this is definitely a sport where you can make the most of it. Being outside in the sun means that even when setting your shutter speed at double your frame rate, which is what I recommend for a more natural motion blur, your image won't be too dark at all and you'll be able to make the most of those powerful serves and smashes in super slow-mo. Even something as simple as a GoPro can give you amazing results in these conditions. And my last shooting tip is to not constantly try to follow the ball with your camera, especially if your framing is pretty tight. Sometimes it's just better to point your camera at a particular spot and wait for the action to enter your frame. Stable shots like that also make it a lot easier to make seamless fast cuts in your edit. Speaking of edit, as I mentioned at the start, Beach volleyball tournaments have a big party vibe, so I would recommend that you let people see that through your videos. That usually means happy, powerful, head bopping music with fast cuts. Lots of color, lots of fast paced action, lots of reaction shots and also lots of ball impacts synced to the beats of your music track. On that note, thanks again to Key Michael for helping me with this video. Make sure you go check out our channel and if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe. Otherwise, thanks again for watching. My name is E and I hope I earned the privilege of your time.